guys, it's Michelle here, the founder and CEO of iHelpMoms.com, where we are committed to connecting you to the nation's top family experts to make motherhood easier, healthier, and happier. I am so excited today for our topic. We are talking about why making yourself why making adult time is so important in motherhood. And I brought you two of my favorite experts. I have Jennifer here. She's the founder of Birth of a Goddess. I know, it sounds awesome, and it is. <laughs> and I have our incredible iHelpMoms.com sex therapist with us, Rachel. She is the founder of Infinite Intimacy and an incredible resource for partners and marriages to really have a fulfilling relationship after having kids. So Jennifer, I really want to kick it off to you. You're a mom of three. Yes. And I remember when I met you, you really encouraged me. I think I was pregnant with my third. Mm -hmm. And you said, don't forget about yourself, Michelle. Yes. Don't lose yourself. Yes. I want you to talk about that statement and why, you know, as a veteran mom, as someone that's a little bit ahead of me in the cycle, why did you tell me that? Thank you. First of all, thank you so much for having us on. I'm so excited. Um, I think it's really important. Each child brings a new element and we are constantly evolving. Yeah. As we constantly take this transformation from maiden into mm -hmm. motherhood, we have to take those pieces of ourselves with us into yeah. motherhood. Yep. And that's what really brings the beauty oh. of each mother and really shapes who you're going to be yeah. and the experiences you're going to have and you can't leave that behind right we think that we're going to be leaving something behind but really we need to bring everything with us and teach our children who we are yeah. our identity is not just leaving everything behind yeah. and just becoming a mother. So true. We're adding another element of our lives yeah. and we're becoming a mother is another layer oh. of who we are becoming. I love that. And when we reflect that onto our children, we allow them to then discover throughout life who they are yeah. and give them the freedom to make mistakes mm -hmm and to find joy yep. and to experiment. Yeah. And we need to have that space. My philosophy when I'm mentoring and I'm coaching and I'm dueling moms is to not smother them, but really energetically create really a sacred safe space mm -hmm. for growth. Because yeah. life is really about growth and we have to just be role models for our children. Yeah. That's what motherhood is about. Oh, it's I about learning and loving and allowing for experiences and growth. Yeah, growth, being a great role model, these are such key components for moms that are often lost once we have those kids. And another thing um, that happens a lot, and I think all of us have seen those relationship cracks start to really open up once couples that don't have that firm foundation. Mm -hmm. And let's face it, having kids is just kind of a surprise, you know, different things pop up and different needs and evolution happen. So I want to ask you, Rachel, as a sex therapist, mm -hmm. as an intimacy expert who has helped hundreds of couples make mm -hmm. these transitions and, and really grow, mm -hmm. you know, why is having a strong partnership for your kids one of the best gifts that we can ever give our kids? Yeah, well, you know, as you just said, we're the foundation, yeah. right? We're the foundation of the family. So if we forget that we were first lovers first, yeah. right? And we had this amazing, beautiful connection. Yes, when the kids come, all of our love, all of our focus, all of our everything goes right into those kids. Yeah. And it's necessary. Babies can't function on their own, yeah. right? But after about a year to 18 months, it's so important to kind of pull that energy as you were talking about the excitement and the newness of children. That's the same thing that fuels our, our eroticism, our sexuality. Yeah. So if we're putting all of our excitement into our children, we're essentially getting filled. Mm -hmm. Our eros is getting filled by our children. Yeah. And we forget that we once had our partner to fill that. Yeah. So once we kind of realize, okay, my baby is being loved, we're pouring all this love, let me just kind of save some yeah. for my partner, yes. right? Mm. So once we've realized that yeah. 
we are the foundation. If we forget about each other, then ultimately there won't be a family in the end yeah. because that disconnect is going to keep on yes. growing, unfortunately. Yeah. I think we see this over and over and over, and that's why it's so encouraging to learn from our iHelpMoms.com experts to get insight from moms who have been through mm -hmm. things good and bad mm -hmm. and to really understand that those relationships that last the long run mm -hmm. prioritize their relationship mm -hmm. over their children. And I know that is so hard to hear, but it's just one of those things that our experts say, like we've got to make sure that that pyramid is happening where the partnership of mm -hmm. husband, wife or partnership of relationship comes first so that we can really make sure that we build that strong foundation. One of the things that you talk a lot about, about is permission. Yes. And as a doula, as the founder of Birth of a Goddess, which I love, <laughs> I want you to talk about how moms overcome that feeling. I had it too when I had this new little bundle of joy. I'm like, I can't leave my baby. Yes. What are those moms doing out there, right? How can they leave their kids? Time out. Thank goodness I have my iHelpMoms.com <laughs> village. Yes. I am such a better mom today because I gave myself permission to take yep. care of myself. Mm -hmm. 100%. Why is that so important? How do moms get to that place to give themselves permission and, and push back that mom guilt and, and let mm -hmm. that mom guilt go? Well, I think we need to acknowledge that when we step into motherhood, it is, and we have to acknowledge, there's nothing wrong with having that feeling initially. Yep. It is a very symbiotic relationship, yep. and it is all about the babies, yep. and it takes everything at the beginning. Yep. But just like the baby has cues where they start waking up and integrating, they start stepping away from mm -hmm. you. That's your cue as well, mm. that you can start stepping away as wow. well. A lot of mothers have a hard time. They start becoming codependent. Yeah. And you see them going off to preschool and you have these mothers standing there crying. The child might be okay and the mother standing there <laughs> crying for preschool, kindergarten. She's put all of her self-identity into motherhood mm -hmm. and she's forgotten who she was before. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's really important to keep those elements of who you were. Mm -hmm. What brought you joy? What were those elements of strength? Yeah. And what, what were you good at? What yeah. made you shine? Mm -hmm. What brought you source of pride? Um, what were your interests? What are your new interests? Yeah. You have to keep stimulating that and allowing that to gradually develop. Your mm -hmm. children are watching you. Yeah. You are your children's role models. So you need to accept that just like your children are going to go off and explore mm -hmm. who they're becoming, yeah. there isn't just because we've reached this adulting and adulthood, we don't stop learning and growing. Yeah. If we do, then your children are going to be stagnant as well with that growing and learning. And this is just how we need to continue evolving in life. So we fall into this getting in the car and listening to ABCs and Disney music. It doesn't all have to be about our children. Give yourself permission to listen to what brings you joy yeah. and be a role model, be a mirror for your children mm -hmm. for joy. Oh, mm -hmm. I love if that. If you are in your joy, your children will feel that. Yeah. If you are stressed out, your children will feel yeah. that. Yeah, but I think a lot of moms feel like if they do allow themselves to pursue their own passions, whether that be a career, working, part-time work, something other than being mom, mm -hmm. I think they feel like, uh-oh, what happens to my child? Yeah. Did I did I let them down? But really, statistics show, and our iHelpMoms.com yes. therapist actually brought this to our attention, statistics show that mothers who have strong interests of their own, mm -hmm. passions of their own, mm -hmm. actually produce higher achieving yes. children. Yeah. So that's really what the research shows is that we are our children's greatest role model and that yep. they, they really thrive yes. seeing that. Whether it's volunteering, whether it's being on the PTO, it doesn't matter what it is, but I don't think moms have to choose being a great mom or having passions of their own. I actually think the beauty comes when they rise together. Yes. And so, you know, another really important component of creating that household that all rises yeah. together is not only carving out your own passions and your purpose, but mm -hmm. also time with your loved one. Yep. 
right? And so again, when we get in that vortex of the beginning parts of motherhood, mm -hmm. sure, it's a little bit tougher then. But I loved, you know, that we talked about as the toddler begins to make their mm -hmm. way and the child begins mm -hmm. to evolve with some self-sufficiency. It's such a great cue mm -hmm. that we also need to begin mm -hmm. evolving. So yep. talk to me about with our partners, mm -hmm. how do we carve out time when it feels so stressful? Yeah. So I want you to walk us through those beginning months where like, I don't know what to do this baby, it's crying a lot, I'm mm -hmm. really stressed out, and then the marriage is kind of like, mm -hmm. I don't know, you take care of the baby and I'm gonna go to work, and yeah. it starts this crazy cycle, is what we call it. How do we regain that connection with our partner? How do we carve out that time? And carving out that time. I think first it's really realizing that your relationship is a priority. If you believe that this is important and this is important for myself and my family and my children and my relationship, then you are going to find a way to carve out that time, mm. right? Yeah. In the same way you talked about um, how mothers come into their own and how it's a, a, a statistically how children grow, it's the same thing for the couple relationship. So the studies show that happy and healthy couples, right, yield children who have better peer relationships, who have better emotional intelligence, wow. right? So and in a similar way, that we're being role models for our children, we're also role modeling our relationships, yes. right? If children grow up in a home where, where their parents are disconnected, then they're gonna go into relationships and not be able to really fully learn how to connect to their partners. Yeah. And then in addition to the just being a positive role model as a couple, it's also understanding that if my child knows that I am emotionally secure in my relationship, mm. then the child doesn't feel like they have to fill that emotional void. So then wow, they can huge. feel safe. Ooh. They can feel safe going off. I don't have to take care of mom. Huge. Right? I don't have to be there That's because amazing. dad's not there. That's that codependency right? again. Exactly. 100%. So it's all, it all intertwines. So the first step is really believing that this is important. And once you realize all of these, you know, yeah. what the research finds, what, you know, the statistics, all of that, and it's hard to say, oh, my relationship, what about my kids, right? As you were right. talking about. Yeah. But once you believe we are the foundation, yeah. then you're gonna say, okay, we're the foundation, so let's make this time a priority. Yeah. In that shift from a year to 18 months, right? As that child is kind of learning how to crawl, taking its first steps, yeah. then it's connecting with your partner and saying, hey, do you see that? This is this is what we've created. And once you shift that perspective mm. of we did this, mm -hmm. right? It brings that togetherness, that closeness. I love that. So that it reminds you, okay, we're together. Yeah. We we are building this together. I love it's it. It's not you, it's not me, it's us. That's yes. amazing. And then once we get there, then we just in the same every week when we're making our schedule, making sure there's time in every day for us to sit down with each okay. other and How'd your day go? Yeah. Is there anything you need? Once a week having those date nights or date yeah. lunches or just yeah. laying in bed for an extra hour by yourself while the kids are at school, you know? Yeah. Yes. Playing hooky for yourself a little bit yeah. to I kind love that. of regain that connection. Oh, those are so great. Well, I want to let you in on one of my secrets here in the house. <laughs> and we are so, so happy to have the Destiny Candle by Karen Michelle. This is an amazing tool because we talk about it doesn't always need to be a fancy dinner. It doesn't always have to be something extravagant. It can be something very simple yet intimate and sensual. So I want you to talk a little bit about these amazing, they're mm. massage oil candles. And you can see here, it's a destiny candle. So tell me a little bit about why these can be one of the best hidden secrets to couples having a lot of fun and carving out time with yeah, each other. And it's the creativity, it's finding ways to have fun. In the same way that we're focusing on our children and keeping activities for them, it's learning little things. It doesn't have to be, you know, to keep the spice alive. It doesn't have to be anything kinky and crazy. No, just let's fun. get a let's get a, you know, all natural candle that doesn't get too hot. So this candle I believe is made out of jojoba and um, coconut, coconut oil. oil. Not awesome. Right. All so natural. All coconut. natural. <laughs> and both of those are so great for the skin, right? So if we're just carving out that time at the end of the day, oh, it's been such a long day. Let's rub each other down. I right? love it. So let's rub me down, girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's whoop. 
Oh, it woo, is. Woo. It's just warm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So let's set the mood. That let's feels great. You gotta try this. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, there's right? a little pour. Yeah. Isn't that's that amazing? So perfect. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh. So oh, it really is so nice. So good. Mm -hmm. really that is so good. fun. So you can see when you open it up, yep. it says light it, melt it, pour it on, and find your surprise jewelry inside at Destiny it. Candle. This is cool. so fun, you guys. Yeah. It really is wow. nice. I am a huge fan of this. So <laughs> if you want to carve out some adult time, you now know the statistics show it is very important for our kids that we carve out time for ourselves, yes. we carve out time with our partners, and just have a little bit of fun. Mm -hmm. Destiny Candle is definitely my secret go-to, so <laughs> check it out. You can find it on Instagram at Kara Michelle LA, and I absolutely love the Destiny Candle for having a little bit of easy, affordable fun. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thanks for being with us. I also highly encourage you to check out Jennifer. You can find her at, what's your Instagram handle? Birth of a Goddess. I love it. It's like such a great page to follow. I'm like constantly Thank inspired you. and empowered most <laughs> of all. You. And for couples that mm -hmm. might have questions about intimacy, sex after having mm -hmm. kids, couples counseling, mm -hmm. how do they find you on Instagram? On Instagram, I am Infinite Intimacy LLC. And then if you have any questions, you can always email me at Rachel at InfiniteIntimacyTherapy.com. Oh, she's yeah. amazing. <laughs> so highly recommend these two experts to make motherhood easier healthier and happier. See you later, guys.